I think most of you are actually quite disappointed in how Alibaba fared in terms of the entire recovery that happened just last Friday. So I really just wanted to take the time to really um, just provide you with one of my theory into understanding where all the different big tech companies in China um, recovered a substantial portion, while Alibaba on the other hand actually went down instead. So I believe many of you Alibaba investors out there really can't understand and comprehend this situation. At the time of recording this video, Based on last Friday's price action, a lot of all these different big tech companies or even just Chinese companies by and large did recover by a substantial portion, ranging from 1% all the way to 4 5%. But Alibaba on the other hand went down and dropped 1% instead. So what exactly is happening with Alibaba? I do have a theory and stay on if you do want to hear about it. So before I start, I did create a Discord channel for all you bulls and bears of Alibaba. It's definitely a platform for you guys to discuss, debate, or even dispute different theses or different arguments. The primary objective of the Discord channel is really to create the entire network effect for people to share different articles, share different viewpoints, and for people to just create a community surrounding Alibaba, whether you love it or whether you hate the stock. I think we are all welcoming. So if you're interested, please click in the link in the description box down below. On top of that, I've also left my referral link for both Tiger and Momo Brokers. They are essentially a China um, brokerage firm that they are expanding aggressively worldwide, especially in the Singapore and Southeast Asia region. So for those of you who haven't created, what are you waiting for? Ultimately, it's best to just earn the free money, right? With that, let's get right into today's topic. Now, if you were to really look at all the different companies that I have on my China watch list currently, just look through all the companies that I have on this watch list. Huya, Neo, Tou, Yu, Net, Is, JD, uh, Tiger, Xpeng, Pintoto, Tencent. All of them are up from 1% to 4.8%. And where is Alibaba? Alibaba and the American ticker symbol BABA. It's down 1.61%. What the heck is Alibaba even doing, man? So I definitely do have my own theory, but this is just a conspiracy theory. Nothing is set in stone. I'm just postulating and speculating. So now let's just go back to the SEC filing that they filed recently. And let's take a look at who are the biggest shareholders right now. So only Joseph Tsai um, has a substantial amount of portion in Alibaba, which is currently sitting at 1.4%. Who is the biggest outstanding shareholder? Tada! It's SoftBank. SoftBank currently owns around 25% of Alibaba's stake. So if you were to really just go back to the price chart and price pattern and look at Alibaba um, trading volume, um, that took place on Friday particularly. There are huge amount of selling over the last few days and which is also why even though the entire Chinese sector has quote unquote tried to recover from the extremely bad performance based on the bad sentiments, there are still not enough demand coming in to cover up the supply. And why is that so? So for those of you who actually followed me since last week and saw the weekly updates, SoftBank actually did uh, made the public stance on why they are holding off a lot of their investments in China amid the tech crackdown. And I would not... I, I did highlight some parts of the article, but um, just to give you a very quick summary and um, a quick and dirty understanding and analysis of the entire situation right now, SoftBank is essentially just um, holding their bets, holding on to a lot of their money and refraining themselves from getting too aggressive in the Chinese economy. Because whenever there's volatility, um, people are uncertain to do some projections, they'll just try to sit this one out and sit on the sidelines to understand and monitor the situation a bit more. So really looking at this entire idea, I'm currently just speculating, could it be the possibility of SoftBank actually liquidating some of their shares? So some of you might think that, hey, um, it's a very ridiculous and crazy theory. SoftBank has always been one of the biggest shareholders of Alibaba and they have extreme confidence. But just to give you some form of um, understanding, so China is SoftBank's biggest problem right now. Uh, shares of Japanese tech company conglomerate has lost around 36% since their March peak, re partly reversing a 69% gain last year. So the biggest loss for SoftBank came outside the Vision Fund though. Its 110 billion stake in Alibaba accounted for around 47% of its net asset value as of June. And the Chinese e-commerce giant is undoubtedly SoftBank's most profitable investment. It put only 20 million into the company more than two decades ago. From a 20 million investment to a current 110 billion stake, I don't even know how many foes is that. But that said, um, SoftBank has bought back 22.6 billion of its own stock since March 2020. And it's partly funded by monetizing its Alibaba stake. And what does it mean by monetizing its Alibaba stake? It's essentially just selling and realizing some of the profits in terms of their Alibaba investment. So in this case and in this um, huge amount of exposure in um, the current Chinese tech companies and the Chinese tech sector, 
Um, who knows, SoftBank might actually be one of the biggest seller of this entire um, situation right now because based on last week's overview and understanding of SoftBank as a company, they did say that they do not have a very optimistic expectation on this entire tech crackdown. So they might be a net seller and which is also why a lot of all this Alibaba price action, despite a lot of people saying that, oh, it's undervalued, I mean, it's severely oversold. As long as there's huge um, smart money or huge hedge funds selling out of all their entire position, um, especially when SoftBank owns 25% of Alibaba. And that's when regardless of how much buying pressure comes in the stock, the stock market, the stock price will continuously fall unless there's a bigger hedge fund out there trying to scoop up all the shares from SoftBank. So that's just my theory. You can share with me your theory in the comment section down below. With that, I'll see you in the next video. But more importantly, I'll see you on the moon. Goodbye. If SoftBank is really one of the net sellers in this entire tech crackdown, then I'm extremely disappointed in you, man. Okay, bye.